it's rude to stare. I've only seen places like this in my dreams. It's incredible. And I'm the only human here? I haven't seen any others. Wow. There must be a reason for that, right? Why am I here? What if I, Luz Noceda, average teen, actually had a predetermined path of greatness? Just like Azora. Yeah, did Azora's path to greatness involve her delivering boil cream? Today I'm delivering packages, but tomorrow I'll be earning the respect of everyone on the boiling aisles with my magical prowess. Ha, good luck. The boiling aisles is nothing but a cesspool of despair. More like a cesspool of delight. Ha-ha. <laughs> <gasps> what has four hooves and wants to buy a potion? This guy. <sighs> my eyes are down here. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've had enough delight for one day. I thought being the only human in a magical world would make me special, but apparently it just makes everyone want to scream at me or eat me. <sighs> at this point, Azura had already been sent on an enchanted quest. Where's my quest-granting wizard? Sorry to break it to you, Luz, but no one here is that well-dressed. This has been a rough day. <laughs> Let's just deliver this last package and go home. Maybe this world isn't what I thought it was. <gasps> Pretty. Big houses always belong to big whack jobs. Let's kick the package inside and get out of here. Hello? Hey, wait! <laughs> I'm delivering a package from Miss Ida, the Owl Lady. Huh? <gasps> Today just got good. Magical wizard. A weird old man in Jim Jams. I was in my oscillarium, reading the stars. And who might you be with eyes full of curiosity? Ah. Uh... I'm... Young lady, did I say I sense something unique about you? Please, won't you join me for tea? <gasps> okay. Let's scram! Wizards are just old people with glitter in their pockets. I don't trust them. But the stars on his robe are sparkling. And look, there's a baby fox in his beard. <laughs> Plus, I see scones on the table. Where? <laughs> We'd love to join you for tea. Do you sell potions, Sir Wizard? Please, call me Adagast. Um, yes, I run a small business. You should run a small business of more scones into my mouth! <laughs> yes! I'm surprised to see you here. It was my understanding that Ida delivered the packages herself. Well, I'm kind of sort of her apprentice. Oh, and how are you finding the experience so far? <sighs> Can I be honest, Mr. Adagast? When I decided to stay in this magical world, I thought I was meant for something special. But Ida thinks I'm meant for chores, and I'm afraid I came to the wrong place. Hmm. I have a quest. A quest? <laughs> you didn't let me finish. I have a question. Oh. Would you like to go on a quest? Yes! I might have just the thing. The prophecy speaks of a young human girl who will claim the celestial staff and free this world from an ancient evil. Perhaps thou hath cometh here for a reason? Perhaps I hath. Should you believe yourself worthy to attempt this quest? So worthy. You need to know the road is dark and perilous. Love peril. Big fan of peril. And only the chosen one can pull the staff from its post. Chosen one? Neat story, awesome. Anyway, your food is gone and we are too. Yes, we have to go. And back for this enchanted quest! I'm in!